For practice it self check 5.26 scanner average 3 we need to write a code that prompts for three integers averages and prints them. We need to also make our code robust against invalid input. So if the user types a non number non integer we will reprompt them with the same message. So this is going to prompt for three integers. So that means we need to run this three times, which means we need to use a loop and the best loop for this would be a for loop. We would have four int a, which is just a temporary value, is less than three, and we'll just do a plus plus every single time this loop runs, so it'll only run three times. After our loop, we're going to print out this average right here. So we can do a system dot out dot print, and in here we will have average just like this. This could also be a print line. And then inside of our for loop, we are going to prompt the integer, or we're going to prompt the user to type an integer. So we'll have a system dot out dot print just like this. And then we are um, we're going to need a while loop to run, and this while loop will run as long as we do not have a correct integer. So we'll do while and we need to do we actually need to make a scanner since we are dealing with user input so we'll do scanner and we'll just call it input and set it equal to new scanner and in here we'll have system dot in because we are getting user input and then we can go back to our while loop and we'll say while our while loop does not so we'll have a not operator in foot in front and we'll say while input does not has next int this will run again what our while loop is saying that is as long as our input which is our scanner does not because of this not operator as long as our input does not have a next int we are going to be in here we'll just take what they have and we will store it because we need to get it out of the way and we'll store it in scan.next however um our, or we'll just we'll get, come back to this and then we need to reprompt the user for the integer. So after they um, type in something that's incorrect, we're going to go into our while loop, store it in here, and then ask them again for the integer. And then we are going to go back in our while loop and um, ask them for the input again with this scan.next. If this scan.next ever is an integer, if it ever is the correct integer, we are going to break out of our while loop and we are going to write um, we're going to actually store it in int num and set this equal to scan this will actually be input because I called it input up here so this should be input and int num is equal to input dot next int because we, it should be an int however since we are averaging it we need to add these together so we need to every time this for loop runs we need to add the previous number to it so we need to change this to be plus equals and since we're going to use it outside of our for loop we need to declare it outside so we can move this declaration up here we can do in num is equal to zero like this and then we'll just have it add the next int for the three times this for loop runs and then we can break out of our for loop once we have all of this code and then we could just compute the average which would be the num divided by 3 now we are dealing with a double in our average so we need to actually change this num to be a double and if we do that we can submit it and see that we've passed the test so a summary of this would be that we have a scanner input and it's taking in the user input and we are going to run this three times which is why we have a for loop that runs three times we're initially prompting the user to, the user to type an integer if our user types an integer we're going to go down to this line and we are just going to add the integer into num if they do not type an integer our input does not have a next int so we're going to be in our while loop we are going to store this value right here then reprompt the user for an integer. If they type an integer, we're going to store it in here and break out of our while loop. And if they don't, we're going to go back into our while loop. And after this line executes, 
that's the end of our for loop so we're going to either go back and run this for loop again or if we're at 2 a is equal to 2 this is run three times we will break out of our for loop and then print our system.out.println. So this is the code for this problem.